in this video i would give you an introduction to aldehyde and then we'll see the systematic naming of aldehyde with the help of iupac nomenclature system aldehyde is an organic molecule or the compound which contains rc double bond oh group here we can write this rc double bond oh so this is the general nomenclature of the aldehyde we can write this group like r c h o the minimum requirement in aldehyde is this cho group should be at the end in the organic molecule here r is nothing but any alkyl group so this is alkyl or aryl group if we replace this hydrogen by any r so this will become r c double bond o r dash so here r and r dash are nothing but the alkyl as well as the aryl group so this will now change from aldehyde to ketone aldehyde to ketone in this video we have to not focus on ketone but in the next video we'll talk about the ketones let me write the common examples of aldehyde so the first common example is h c double bond o h if you see the common name for this compound is formaldehyde formaldehyde this formaldehyde has pretty strong smell a solution of 4% of formaldehyde fixes pathology tissues and therefore it is useful in the preservation of biological samples we can also have the another example like this ch3 c double bond oh the common name for this compound is acetaldehyde acetaldehyde this acetaldehyde is again the basic aldehyde now here you can see r is nothing but the alkyl group that is methyl group we can replace this r by any aryl group and we can write the structure like this so now here we have phenyl group attached to carbon of carbonyl and the common name for this compound is benzaldehyde benzaldehyde we can also change this group like this we can put the phenyl ring as well as the substituent other substituent like this now here you can see we have phenyl as well as the carbon carbon double bond the common name for this compound is cinnamaldehyde 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 has the simon like odor and it is occur in the bark of simon tree generally this cinnamaldehyde we can synthesize in laboratory also and it is useful as a precursor for the synthesis of different organic compounds now you can see here formaldehyde acetaldehyde benzaldehyde cinnamaldehyde all these are the common names we can also give the systematic naming 
to all these aldehydes by using IUPAC nomenclature system. Here we can give the number to this first formaldehyde like carbon number 1. So we have total number of carbon atoms 1. So prefix will become meth. The prefix will become meth. Now in alkane generally we are ending with A and E. In case of aldehyde we have to replace this E by AL. So this will become A N A L. So this will become methe methanol. So IPC name for formaldehyde will become methanol. We can also give the numbering to this compound. This will become 1, 2. So we have two carbon atoms. The IUPC name of this compound will become ethanol. Here also we can give the IUPC name. At carbon number 1 we have phenyl substituent. So this will become 1-phenyl, 1-phenyl methanol. Methanol. Here this compound is well known in common name like cinnamaldehyde but also we can give the IUPC name. So this is carbon number 1, 2 and 3. At 3 position we have phenyl. So 3 phenyl. Then we have 1, 2, 3 carbon atoms. So this will become pro. pro. We have carbon-carbon double bond at position number 2. So this will become 2 in AL. So we have all these IUPC naming to these aldehydes. Let's take some little bit another example. If we have the cyclic substituent like this. C double bond O. H. We can also give the IUPC name to this compound. So for that purpose we have to write the number. So this is 1. On carbon number 1 we have substituent like cyclohexane. When cyclic group, it, group is attached to the carbon of carbonyl in the aldehyde then we have to write the name of that cyclic compound like cyclohexane cyclohexane and then we have to end up the name with carbaldehyde. So let me write that carbaldehyde. Similarly if we have the two aldehyde group in the organic molecule like this so C double bond O H CH, let me put one group, CH3, CH2, CH2, C double bond O, H. Here also we can give the IUPC name. So for that purpose, we must start the numbering from left hand side towards the right hand side. Because this methyl group is at it will come at position number 2. So this will become 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. In such type of organic molecule where we have two aldehydic groups, first of all we have to write the basic compound and the substituent name. Here at position number 2 we have 2 methyl, 2 methyl, then we have pentane, 2 methyl pentane, and this will end up with diol. So, IPC name for this compound will become 2 methyl pentane diol. 